Hi guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are going to cover concepts from tree data structure and get an hands on on the topic as we move ahead. So please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Today, let's go through a question and find if a tree is symmetrical or not. If a tree is symmetrical in structure, its mirror image will have the same structure. It's an interesting question, so let's get started. Here we can see that the structure on the left is original tree while on the right is of its mirror. By looking at both these we can say that they are structurally symmetrical as the mirror of the tree has same placement of the nodes. In this example we can see that the original and the mirror image differ. They aren't the same and so we can say that these are not symmetrical. So what do we need to do? We need to compare the structure of left and right subtree. Let's take this tree. As its root is not empty, we will need to compare its left and right subtree. Let's call the left and right subtree as A and B. And now we will compare these trees. But it is not simple comparison. For it to be symmetrical, the left child must be a mirror of right and the right child must be a mirror of left. So A dot left must be structurally equal to B dot right and A dot right must be structurally equal to B dot left. If we look at these nodes, they are not null. So they are structurally equal. Hence we can move ahead. Let's look into its child and write the null nodes also. We need to follow comparison rules a dot left equals b dot right and a dot right equals b dot left. Here we see that these are not equal. So the answer to is this tree symmetrical is false. Let's quickly recap what we saw. Firstly, if the root is null, we stop or else we need to check if its left and right are symmetric. To check its symmetry, we need to take tree A and B and recursively check if left of A is mirror of right of B and right of A is mirror of left of B. Here mirror checks are done only if both the tree nodes are not null. This check takes care of the structure mirror. If we want to check if the tree is exactly mirror including its values too, then we need to check if their values are also same or not along with the structure. Here's a tree node class with value right and left subtree references. In the main class, we have two methods, main method and isMirror method. The main method creates the tree using the constructor. It also checks the edge case if the root is null. This means that the tree is empty and thus it will be symmetric. If this is the case, we do not need to check further. Otherwise, we call the isMirror method on left and right of the root. The isMirror method performs basic if-else checks. Firstly, it checks if both the nodes are null or not. If yes, then these are symmetric and thus return true. Otherwise, we check if both are not null. If this is the case, we perform three checks. First is on the value equality and the second and third is a recursive call to both left and right to check the mirror property for a dot left comma b dot right and a dot right comma b dot left. If none of these matches, the tree is not symmetric and we return false. For this tree, the program returns tree is not symmetric. Go ahead and play with the input to check different conditions. The link to the code is in the description below. This question is also there on lead code for you to practice. The same code won't work there as you just need to write the logic and not the main method. Try modifying this code and run it on lead code wherein you can play with the input easily. There can be many variations of these type of questions, some of which are listed here. Check if tree is mirror of itself, structurally as well as values. This is the code that we saw as we compared the values to. Check if two given trees are same tree. The same code can be tweaked to solve this question. Convert the tree into its mirror. It is the same concept, but here you need to convert the tree into its mirror rather than just printing if it is symmetrical. And the last one is invert binary tree. This is one of the frequently asked questions. We already have a video on this that you can refer and practice. All the links to the questions and the videos are in the description. Please check them out and practice it yourself. That's it for today. In the next video, we will see one more question which will be a level tougher than the ones we have seen till now. So till then, 
Stay tuned, keep learning and keep coding.